All right, now we're doing Assassin's Creed Collector version. Um, you may have noticed, well, I doubt anyone's noticed because I'm not sure I have any regular viewers. Um, but if you are, and you did notice this, let me know in the comments. But I haven't really made, made many videos in a while. Kind of skipped over Modern Horizons 3. Not because I didn't like Modern Horizons 3, it was great. Uh, it just sold out too fast and I just didn't have any boxes left over to do box openings with. I may do those in the future. If you're interested in that, let me know. Um, because, you know, it's always good to have singles around the store to, for people to, uh, to buy. It's just that my order for Modern Horizons 3 was, you know, the same amount that I spend on other orders, but that just meant half as much product. Um, and it went quickly. Oh, these are in real. These are really nice. Much nicer foiling than uh, any of the previous sets. Huh. So, these special treatment foils. We'll start by looking at that. Um, yeah. And they've really improved on the uh, the what's it called the the etched foiling, uh, the cold foiling or whatever. Capitoline Triad. Is that a mythic or a uh, Jackdaw, Cassandra, Eagle Bear? Well, this is a nice foiling process. Yeah, so anyway, um, because I had. I, I didn't go so heavy into Modern Horizons that I did with uh, Commander Masters, because, I don't know, I actually think Commander Masters was the better set. Just, it was high priced but modern rise is pretty close and so therefore if i was to you know have the amount of product in total number that i have for every set that i order then it would cost me pretty much as much as commander masters did and i just didn't want to be in the middle of the summer spending that much money when there's two other sets on coming right after the other like with uh, assassin's creed apple of eden this is probably one of some device for the, I don't know, the time travel stuff or whatever. That, 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 I don't know. I think that's what you unlock at the end of the game. I know a little bit about Assassin's Creed. I didn't finish it. I just played it. Yeah, so, you know, Modern Horizons 3 is going to be around for a while. Maybe not the collector boosters, and maybe I missed out on, on only getting a few of those. But, eh, I still preferred getting Commander Masters just because I think... For me, it's better. I don't know. And I think for my customers, it's better. But I don't know about for everybody else. It depends on what you... Uh, oh, the Staff of Hermes. Does this heal? As long as you have 30 more... Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw this. Uh, creature, uh, equip creature gets puffed and destructible. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to this creature. Yeah, okay, Staff of Hermes. Uh, Sensu Kenai Protector. I think I heard something about this. Cover of Darkness. Okay, so we'll... Put up Sinu. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh... The Assassin's, like, special little bird that... Is it Ezio from... No, it's not Ezio in the first game. It's, um... I don't know. Why don't I know the name of the, the Assassin? Because Ezio is the second game. I didn't play it, but I did see... I did watch people play it, and I... I, I watched a lot of content about it, because I thought I was going to play it, but never got around to it. Construct history. Shake Cormac. Hmm. I'm liking the full art lands being everything, even though that devalues all of them. But, you know, it gives you a wide variety of things of lands you can put in your deck. Cassandra, Eagle Bearer. This is a different art for her. So, huh. And there's a foil Cleopatra. So that's the second Cleopatra I got. And Cleopatra is sought after. I don't know about this Cassandra, though. And now we're at this uh, point where, you know, these Collector Boosters boxes were $500 US a box, and then they quote unquote collapsed down to $400 US dollars. No. No, so they were $400 US dollars a box, and then they, you know, quote unquote collapsed down to $300 US dollars a box. Um, that's probably only. Oh, the Animus. There we go. Um, that's probably only because, a lot, you know, everyone got their their product in the last few days, right? If not last week. 
and that would have brought the prices down because people would be like you know trying to capitalize on that that high price value to, to finally make a good profit and then of course because everyone's doing it then they're undercutting each other and then the prices drop quickly oh there we go I got a foil Socrates nice I doubt I'll get a serialized Socrates but if I do I'll scream like a little girl I, I really will uh, not on purpose well on purpose but not because <laughs> that's what it'll make me feel like doing it's just as my promise to you I'll squeal like a little girl when I uh, get a f <laughs> a serialized Socrates if you notice there was a little brain fart in there you know sometimes when you're doing this off-the-cuff stuff there's a bunch of things running through you got a multiple conversations going in your head that you're talking to the camera I don't think that was much of a pack uh, but best email shack sure I'll put him up anyway uh, so these collector boosters are now uh, $300 US hovering around there um, but again everyone got heavily allocated on it um, and Assassin's Creed is more popular than Fallout but I think there's more printed it feels like there's more printed of ooh, there we go that's a nice little uh, foil to get Fire Eight Island. Um, it feels like there's a little bit more of Assassin, just a little bit more of Assassin's Creed. Oh, Leonardo da Vinci. This is a good pack. Royal Assassin, Apple of Eden. That's in foil. And Haytham Kenway. I don't know if that's important, but I think Apple of Eden in foil. You guys want to see full art? Yeah. Anyway, as I was saying. Assassin's Creed is more popular, even if there's more collector boosters of this than Fallout. The set sizes are roughly... I mean, okay, maybe not, because there's, what, two? Four commander decks in Fallout? But you can get all of your card in those in those commander decks, right? I don't think there were... Maybe there was a couple cards that they added to the... I don't remember. Ivor Wolfkist. I haven't heard of him that... Uh, Later games, I guess. Aveline de Grand Prix. Interesting. And the Jackdaw. I guess that the ship she's on, I, or is she a uh, pirate? I don't know. She's got a whip and a, a wicked curved sword. Um, Cover of Darkness. I guess we'll look at Ivor Wolfkist, in case anybody cares about that character. I, I haven't heard of him. Anyway, well, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think that for some reason Fallout is more popular even though there's way more people playing Assassin's Creed? If you've got a good argument, let me know. Um, I'm, I'm, it's not a hill I'm going to die on. But uh, but again, there may have been better cards in Fallout, so maybe Sinu Kenai Protector, Excalibur Sword of Eden, but not foil, but full art. Oh, the Spear of Leonidas. Leonidas. Yes, that is... I always... Is the Spear of Longinus different than the Spear of Leonidas? It must be. It must be. Um, what is the Spear of Leonidas? Remind me that story. Because I know Lon I know the Spear of Longinus. That would be an awesome spear to have. Um, is that in sorcery? I mean, there should be a Spear of Longinus at this point in time, right? And technically, we don't know if that's a real person. So, Leah Fry, that's some subtle foiling. I'm going to throw it up there because... I think people want to see. It's got some subtle foiling on the fire. I don't know how well it shows on camera, but they do a good job sometimes of these foiling. Huh. Uh, Petty Larceny, Island, Yggdrasil, Rebirth Engine. Now yeah, let's look at that. Uh, Cover of Darkness and the Jackdaw in etched foil. So we'll put up Yggdrasil. Last pack here. It's been fun. I don't know that I'll be opening much more of it. I mean, I have a bunch. I don't know how much everyone in the store is going to want or how well it's going to sell online, that kind of stuff. Um, but I've enjoyed opening it, but mostly because I was looking for Socrates and I got Socrates. If I didn't get Socrates, I'd enjoy it a little bit less. If I wasn't even looking for Socrates, I wouldn't have enjoyed it at all. Well, maybe a little bit. Just as a memory of 
But there's there's games in here that and characters I don't know because I only played the first game. Overpowering attack. This is a some sort of retroish frame going on. I haven't seen that frame in any other. Well, maybe not. Maybe Rest in Peace has that as well. Just in the white version. Uh, Crystal Skull. Use Spyglass. Basim Il Shek. And another Rest in Peace. So no Hemlock. I guess I'm gonna have to open more to get some Hemlock. Unless uh, Matt opened a few packs the other day and got Hemlock out of that. Wouldn't have thought Hemlock was hard to get. I thought it was just like an uncommon or uh, maybe a rare. But in any case, if you enjoyed it and you're looking forward to this set and there's particular cards you want, let me know in the comments. Thanks.